And the most dramatic finish came at the end of the baseball qualifying game between Israel and Korea. Now, that Israel team has plenty of American Jewish players on it, and our senior U.S. correspondent, Mike Wagenheim, went to a watch party for the game in New York City. Let's take a look. Fans of Team Israel could not make it to Tokyo for the Olympics. No fans allowed in the stadium, but they're here instead, here in New York City at the home of the Jewish National Fund. The American Zionist movement putting together a watch party bright and early at 6 a.m. for the opening round game against Korea. This is a pretty good um, good way to, to, to have fun and, and, and support Israel in, in, a, in an important way that, that connects people. And, uh, you know, it's, it really is uh, so many American Jews in Israel uh, who are an important part of modern Israel society are connected through, through baseball and other sports. So, you know, a lot of young little leagues and baseball fields being built. So, you know, that's our support here. The crowd included the family of Israeli pitcher Alex Katz, who made an appearance in the opening game. Watching him play is always, you know, a very exciting thing for me. But being in the world stage in the Olympics is super special. And playing for a country, Israel, is unbelievable. It's, it's really phenomenal. And they will medal. They will go for the gold and hopefully get it. And they deserve it. And we got to go for it. It's been a long, long journey for Team Israel to get to this point. Baseball didn't exist in Israel essentially a decade and a half ago. But the Jewish National Fund, who's hosting the event in their building today, has put money, a lot of investment, into building baseball fields and other facilities in Israel. If you don't believe in miracles, they say that you're not Jewish. So when all of these people who have been so committed to Israel baseball over these years came to us, we knew it was going to be a miracle and a wish. But think about that. You've got a dream. You fight for it. You do it. You build it. And you have a team at the Olympics representing the land of Israel, the people of Israel, and the Jewish people everywhere. We're not only seeing the success of Team Israel play out in the Olympics, but also recently two observant Jews were selected in the Major League Baseball draft. A person can go ahead and find a way to connect to God through any talent they possibly have. And if it's through baseball, that's great. We have these two young men recently drafted, Sabbath observant Jews. There's nothing a Jew can't do within the framework of Jewish law if he wants to apply it and make himself an ambassador to God anywhere in the world. Yes, there's no doubt the crowd behind us here enjoying a true Jewish and Israeli story. I think just by virtue of the fact that Israel is here at the Olympics in baseball is a miracle in of itself, you know? Israel breaks barriers, you know? And I think um, one of the major themes of this Olympics is that, you know, we transcend anything in Israel. And, you know, people have differences in culture, in religion, in ideology. With Israel, we're a living miracle that we're the only democracy in the Middle East. We accept every nation and we accept everyone as one. And being that we're the greatest outpost of democracy in the Middle East, I think it holds its greatest representation by us watching Israel in the Olympics in baseball. The Israeli team winds up losing under heartbreaking circumstances in the opening round against Korea, but up next, tomorrow's matchup with Team USA. Reporting from New York, Mike Wagenheim, I-24 News.